Hey Outlets, guys, gals, and everyone in between. I was going to do a video on my belief system as far as spirits go and the realms and the worlds and the planes and all this wonderful stuff, but it's kind of a complicated subject and I found that I was tripping over a lot of my words and I was really going back to my notes in this book to help me explain it. <laughs> and rather than, for lack of a better term, steal someone else's work, I'm just going to do a book review because I've been wanting to review this book for quite some time. So why not do it and talk about, you know, this subject, right? The book I'm talking about is uh, The Witch's Book of Spirits by Devin Hunter. Uh, it's been out for quite some time now. It took me not so long to read it as it did for me to reread it. And I've been going through it yet again. I mean, as you can see, I've got a lot of notes. A little bit of background on the book before we kind of dive into it. I'll go ahead and I'll read the uh, description and uh, kind of give you an idea of what this book is. This book is the uh, second book of a three book series that Devin has written and released. <laughs> I have read the first, which is the Witch's Book of Power. I did a review on it about four years ago and I am currently reading the third book. Slowly, but surely. So far, I think this is my favorite book. Like, honestly, I really think it is. I don't know if that's because I already held a similar belief in the way that I believe the worlds and planes work, but Devin really organizes it beautifully and in a way that it's easy, I think, for everyone to understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the cert on the back so we can really dive into this. The Witch's Book of Spirits, discover the ways of the spirits and master the art of command and influence. Profound spiritual insights and powers await beyond the material world. In the Witch's Book of Spirits, Devin Hunter invites you to perform rituals and magic with spirit guides, familiars, angels, the deceased, fairies, and demons. Develop and enhance your relationships to your allies and spirit through soul flight, mediumship, and conjuration. Explore the inner workings of the witch's tree, as well as the planes and peoples who dwell in its many layers. Expand the scope of your magic with the 33 spirits, a system transmitted to the author by a special priesthood of spirits, his familiar, Malik, and the goddess Hecate. Working with spirits is the cornerstone of the witch's art, this book shows you how to stay in control as you increase your witch power and deepen your connection to forces seen and unseen. There's also a recommendation by Jason Mankey, an author from The Witch's Book of Shadows. And if you'd like to know a little bit about Devin Hunter, uh, you can, I, I would normally read about the author, but everybody has a website. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about Devin, you can go to www.devin, D-E-V-I-N, Hunter, H-U-N-T-E-R, dot net. And I will put his website in the description below. This book is available on Amazon and I think even uh, Barnes and Noble has it. Um, I think my shop even has this book. Uh, if I don't have this book, I at least have Modern Witch. Check us out. Moving on. <laughs> if you'd like to know more about Devin, click his website and I would highly recommend that if you want this book that you buy it directly from him. Like I was saying, I have a lot of notes in here like a lot but this book is really great for working with spirits of any kind a lot of people would say that they are nervous about working with spirits and i was that person 
and I read this book and it literally gave me the tools to open up as, I hate the term, but open up as a medium. If you are struggling with the dead to start with, or if you're interested in working with the dead or ancestors, definitely get this book. Above all, like one of my favorite things about this book is honestly techniques to not only aid with working with spirits, but also to protect yourself from spirits. Some of us who, even after reading the book, would not be interested in working with said spirits, this at least will help you understand how they operate in a way, how, how the spiritual world works. So if you wanted to protect yourself from certain types of beings or entities, this book also helps with that. One of my favorite parts of the book is the description of the witch's tree, which we can also kind of liken to the idea of the world tree in Norse mythology and the different worlds where different types and frequencies of spirits reside. So in one of my recent recorded videos, I talked about how to get rid of negative vibrational spirits that might be bothering you in the home. And I kind of pieced my own knowledge with a lot of the knowledge that I got from this book into that uh, video. If you're interested in that, check this out. There's a lot of information that Devin personally gets from his familiar spirit. This book teaches you about familiar spirits and how to, how you would come across getting a familiar spirit as well as working with spirit guides. This book also gives you a list of spirits that Devin has asked permission from for his readers to also work with so which is really awesome you know some some books will teach you how to contact spirits but they won't actually say hey these are really great people that you should uh that you should contact they'll just kind of leave you to rummage around in the dark on your own and this book does not does not do that it's literally a wonderful guide for spirit work and i highly recommend it. So if you're interested in uh, my belief system as far as spirits go or uh, learning how spirits operate and work, I would highly suggest you getting The Witch's Book of Spirits. So that is my book review. 10 out of 10.